Hope you enjoyed this one. This is Sullivan Owls. This is me giving you a review on one of my, on one of those upcoming underground animes, Akatsuki no Yona, or Yona of the Dawn, for short. Alright, it's based on a manga, and the anime, it was produced known by Funimation. It came out in October and it ended just last month, and just a few weeks ago. So here, here we go. Oh, Yona of the Dawn is a very, very confidential series, mysterious even. Takes place like centuries ago, you know, in a far off kingdom, uh, where, uh, where, uh, peace, where you know king, uh, where you know there's a princess. Her name is Yona. Um, uh, she's like she's the main protagonist of the story. Uh, she lives under, under a king. Her father, her mother died a long time ago. She has many followers and friends. One of friends, things things are kind of good for her. You know, like this kind of spoiled rich brat. You know. No, that kind of persona you get, you know, you get from, you know, from experience. But that's something you have to understand. And you know, anyway, she's a princess. She lives in a palace, and, and things go like very good for her. She, you know, she's about to turn sixteen. It's her birthday. Everything's wonderful for her, and things go very good for her you know, until one day her father, her her father is murdered by someone she cares about. Her, her she's betrayed. Aid, her kingdom taken away for her. Her then she is, then she disappears, drag off and let and and left without no home, no almost no family, and almost nobody to take care of her. Her you know basically see she got everything taken away from her in one night. Like her, like her life right now. Her life right now is what you call very, very fractured at this point. But then he's got to get interesting in the story. Why she's not alone. She has Haku. Haku, like uh, he's like one of one of a fam one of her friends, like childhood. She became one of her father's loyal soldiers, and, and he really cares about her. So basically, he he's really loyal and one of her dearest friends. But when but when things start to go wrong, he he came up to defend her. He's someone who is loyal to the cause and to his kingdom, and 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 probably defend you and help got her help her escape. So basically, he's. He's the good guy in this situation. However, things have to progress for them because now this happened. They're being hunted down and being taken, and to prove to all that the kingdom is no longer hers and truly theirs. So basically, it's like you know her kingdom is being taken over, and it's not her fault. Like basically, hey, hey. this girl has to go on this this journey right now with Haku. Basically, Yona has to understand. And herself, and to grow as a person and as a warrior, if, if she had to do so in order to regain her kingdom back, back her life back, and everything she wound that was taken away. I mean, it was never her fault. No, this was this just all happened for her. So she was basically marked for death. Yeah, but the situation right now is very severe for her. And as she continues on this path, and she has to find not. Walk with not just Haku, but she meets other friends along the way, and out they in this quest, she has to find four mi four mystical dragon warriors, each with their own unique abilities and strengths. Thanks. Through the, through these dragon warriors, warriors and this legend, she has to find to use their strength to hopefully not only they regain her kingdom but to survive in the world. So basically, it's like your standard warrior quest. Like it's a good series itself. The animation was pretty beautiful, owned by Funimation. So you basically say you could say it was very standard, standard, and and the premise was hey, what do you expect? You know, you know the most most part of the series is action, is, is action and adventure. And one of the things I gotta like about Yona is her progression and her growth. I mean, she went from a spoiled rich girl to a fine warrior who's willing to die for people. I mean, she was actually a nice girl. Even though spoiled, she was nice. Hey, before she had everything taken away from her. Yeah, but she did. she's doing her best to regain her kingdom, kingdom and, and trying to fight back against all those who have not just hurt her, but hurt other people. She's the kind of person that you will root for or to see what's going to happen to her next because she wants to stand up and fight for people who can't fight for themselves. Uh, so basically, you know, that's the kind of, and it's the main antagonist, the main protagonist I want to root for. So we, you know, alongside with Tough Haku and the four Mystic Dragon Warriors, as she goes on several adventures and journeys and several different quests that could possibly get her killed. You know, so basically, 
Lady, she has to want to prove to herself uh, that she is ready to stand up to people, to her enemies. She wants to, even though she never stood her own ground before. In this series, she had, she develops so quickly into a warrior, even though trying her hardest is not to make sure she doesn't get too, hurt too badly. But she has to understand if she doesn't fight, she will never be able to live her life. All right, so basically, she has no choice but to take up arms and self defense. Yeah, so basically, they, the series is very is good. I give this at least four, three out of five stars because it's a good series. In fact, it's even a manga. In fact, the series was based on a manga that's still continuing. Like monthly, they have over a hundred chapters. I'm thinking about reading the manga to see what's going to happen next. Cause, cause the, even cause the anime itself, it came out in October. Over you know like Parasite the Maximum, you know like her. Uh, but it kicked, but it ended just a few months, ago, just a few weeks ago, just like Parasite the Maximum. I'll review Parasite the Maximum later. Trust me, it's a good series. Hey, but yeah, hey, this is the kind of series you want to root for if you want. Yeah, if you're in for a series about fantasy, warriorism, some mystic art, and some fighting, I mean, this is the kind of series I recommend you watch. Because if you're into that whole series about lone warrior girl trying to survive I'm in ancient in ancient times, that's and that's the kind of series I want you to see. Hey, I put the link down in the description, and you'll be able to watch the anime and read it for yourselves. I also, I also left uh, at the end of the video. Uh, the, uh, you, know, you can look at the opening for the series. The opening is pretty good. It's a pretty good opening. I mean, you know the dawn. And, and, I mean, it's almost like Funimation. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Hey, it's a good series. I recommend you watch it. Hey, give, hey, if you like it, you ha if you like it, then go ahead. If you hate it, then then I'm sorry. Hey, it's a good series. G give it a shot. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe. Thank you. This is Solomon asking you on Yona of the Dawn. Hey, it's a good series. Funimation rocks. Hope I'm gonna see if they give us season two. Who knows?